I just I look like I'm 12, but it's fine. It's okay. More relatable audience. Just kidding. I'm sorry. This strap is hurting me as much as it's hurting you. You know when you plan so, so much for an upcoming event that when it actually happens, you feel like you're living in a dream and it kind of happens all at once and after you're like, oh my god, did it actually happen? But you have footage of it, so it actually did? Yeah, me too. In efforts to regain my memory of probably one of the best weeks of my entire life, naturally, I decided to make a video about it. Enjoy! July 9th, it's numero uno of the Hillsong Conference, and if you didn't watch my last video, which you can watch over here, you wouldn't know that I go to Hillsong College. So hi, welcome to another video. My name is Hannah. If this is your first time on my channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. The button is right down below. Yeah, I do. The Hillsong Conference is a Christian worship and leadership conference where we hear from one of the world's most influential pastors in the church, and we bask in an atmosphere of faith, peace, and love. All that to say, it's a very life-changing conference, if I do say so myself. I attended last year, and this this year, I serve. Good morning, folks! <laughs> we are here at Kudos Bank Arena and I am going to be vlogging um, as a Hillsong <laughs> Conference volunteer this time. This is Joy. Hi, people! She's my housemate and Meg. She's my housemate as well. So what are you doing for the conference? I'm doing something that it's called events. Mm -hmm. So we take care of all the little details that nobody thinks about. <laughs> that nobody thinks about and they're like, oh yeah, it just appears there. Exactly. People put stickers on seats, people like yes. open doors and all that. We do head counts. That's what she does. And Meg, what do you do? I'm doing kids. She's doing kids and the two-year-olds, yes. right? Yes. Two-year-olds. And as for me, I'm doing hosting, so I'm basically just gonna be helping people sit down and stuff like that. It's gonna be fun. Breakfast. Sunbathing. Now we just got lunch, and Joy and I are just chilling, and we're just resting, and then we're gonna get working again. Joy's gonna do a lot of walking today. And I'm gonna do a lot of stair climbing since we're taking care of some seats. Yeah, just, just updating you guys on my life. I need to be better at vlogging. I'm gonna try. Now, from now on. Ready, set, now. <sighs> oh my gosh. All that to say, it was that life changing that I actually convinced my whole family to come to Australia to experience it. And yes, you guessed it, they said yes. So my brothers haven't been answering their phones. And why is that? Mobile oh Legends. <laughs> Show me. Oh my god! We're gonna be making cup noodles! Later, you wanna get some ice cream? Rehearsals, man. Any last words? Why? This is oh, yeah. for everyone. <laughs> As you may have witnessed, I didn't gather as much footage of the conference as I would have liked. It's probably because I was one of the people in charge of seating the attendees in the arena. And yes, 30,000 of them. <laughs> no biggie. But if there's one thing that I learned from this experience, it would be that God encounters you in many different ways. Maybe last year I experienced him through the worship or through the sermons of the pastors, but this year, being a volunteer instead of an attendee, God showed me that there was no such thing as a small task. By giving those envelopes to each of those seats, we actually gave people an opportunity to be blessed by God. Quick pause. The church gets a lot of bad press for giving people the opportunity to give money to them. Now that I'm actually serving at Hillsong, I actually find it crazy that people have the audacity to shame churches for encouraging people to help the church. If you guys only saw the sacrifice, commitment, and work that people put onto mounting these events, you would not even find a reason to complain. That's one thing. But another thing is, ultimately, you're not handing money to people when you're giving to the church. You plant a seed of 100 pesos, watch him grow it to 10,000 pesos. God doesn't need your money, he's just looking for your heart. 
If we invest 10% of our earnings to the person who actually gave us the opportunity to earn, we're saying, hey God, I trust you with this and I want to see your church grow. Well done, the king exclaimed. You are a good servant. You have been faithful with a little I entrusted to you, so you will be governor of 10 cities as your reward. Luke 19 verse 17. Maybe my job looked small and insignificant. But hey, if I was handed this role, I'm going to be the best people sitter, flyer, envelope putter you've ever seen in the entire world. Because God said, if I'm going to be diligent with this little task that I have, he's going to give me an opportunity to get a bigger one in the future. And in regards to money, if I give God a portion of my college budget, I'm going to wait for my big paycheck in the future. You can never outgive God. Trust, trust, trust. Okay, back to the video, sorry. <laughs> the days following the conference, we celebrated my sister at the Ella's birthday and Solana's birthday because they actually happen one after the other. And all thanks to Light Mice Travels and Tita Gina, our tour guide, we were able to see Sydney in ways I never have, even if I live here. Let me see that too. Where are we? We're in. Good eye, mate. We're actually in McGigan. <laughs> Totally different semi onto that young acidic one, as you'll see with the colour of it. Which you'll find in green apples, which is quite biting. Karaz, we pick in the hunter, only 3% of it ends up in this range of wine. It's made from grapes that are infected by the botrytis infection. <laughs> oh! family trip to Australia was one that was out of this world. My family was able to experience the environment that is Hillsong and the people that make up my college life here. And most especially, we were able to experience each other. This was our first family trip in quite a while and it was such an honor to be visited for this few times in a lifetime location. This trip was unforgettable. Define worlds colliding. Like my family coming to Australia, meeting all my college friends, best break ever. What could possibly top this or even add to something like this? You mean like your best friends from college coming to Manila and experiencing the Philippines for the first time? No way. Yes, way. Oh God, how's it? How's it? Oh wow. Yes, there's a second part of this video coming up. For the meantime, while we're waiting for that, you can click any of the videos above. They're fun too. Okay, bye!